Hello. Welcome to a global. In this video, we are gonna talk about um, working with Scratch. So, if you don't know what is Scratch, you can watch our previous video about the introduction to Scratch. So, without further disturbances, let's start it. So, I have the Scratch desktop version, which is the 3.0 version. Um, so, this is the Scratch desktop. And you can see these blocks. These are blocks. And in blocks, there are different kinds of blocks. Motion blocks, looks blocks, sound blocks events blocks, control blocks, sensing blocks, operators, variables, and more blocks. So now, I will explain one by one. Motion blocks. Motion blocks are used to move a sprite anywhere in the background here. So before doing all of that, you have to go to events first. And when doing before anything, you have to click this button. So, when you click this, you have to go get this first, and then motion blocks, you can use them. Move 80 steps. And did you see it? Okay. Now, looks blocks. Look blocks are used to say something. For example, for example, to say something, um, say hello for two seconds, like that. So, let's try it. Hello for four seconds and let's try it. Do you see it? Okay, next is the sound blocks. Sound blocks we used to give that means if this is a cat, the um, cat give the sound mirror. So we can play the sound like this. Let's try it. Can you hear it? So it's giving the sound. Next is the events. So as I said before, before every project, you have to click this when green flag is clicked, that button. And these are the other options available when the sprite clicked those things. Let's stop them later. And the other thing is control blocks. You can um, do things like wait for one second, like this thing I will run. Wait for two seconds and say hello for four seconds. Let's try it. Now it moved 80 steps. And now it moved. 80 steps so now it moved and waiting for 60 seconds so like that after 60 seconds has gone it says hello for 4 seconds like that So next is the repeat one. Repeat. Be used. To repeat something forever. That means if I want to repeat these things for two times, repeat two times this thing, um, I'll put it five seconds. So you can see it repeating two times. will repeat again
this is the second time see and now it will stop like that so these are the other one this is more complex let's talk about them little and is the sensing um for example sensing um sensing is used when something um when we show something from our camera it start to say something like that let's talk them later and these are the operators and variables variables are used to make something for example if you need to make something like score you can make score and click ok see you can see score 0 you have to stop let's try it so after waiting 5 seconds it's changing this code to 1 let's see it let's say it again so like that it's working next is my blocks that means you can make a block but this is not very complex let's use it later next we will see how to make a scratch project if you don't know how to make um something like a project you simply can go to tutorials it will show anything that you like to create if you want to create games go to games like this so now let's create something i will go to games um all and make it fly this thing all right let's try it see it's showing how you go blue sky let's take it if you can see the backdrop like this then you simply can go to search bar and search now because of I can't see I just can click it so you can see the stage became blue color next we have to take a sprite cat fly let's search it here because I can see it let's search it so when you search you can easily find them and you can see the cat here so now we'll give life characters to them for so before doing anything you have to take this block here and say for two seconds say time to fly right now when this we have to click this that means when the right arrow is clicked change x by 10 when when the left arrow is clicked change x by minus 10 so minus 10 let's just try it see when you click the right arrow it's going front and when you click the left arrow it's going back you can try it with your arrow keys so let's have to take the heart 
you can search here heart so you can see the heart here and then again when clicked when clicked um forever go to random position change x by 250 And repeat it for 32 times. Control. Repeat it for, repeat it for 32. Change x by minus 15. Change x by minus 15. All right. Try it. See, you can see it. The hearts are going. So you can use your arrow keys and go like this. We have more to do. Let's try it. Click cat flying. And then add a score. So I have already added a score. If you can't remember, you have to go to variables and click make a variable that's how you create this so now we have to make this let's stop it again when the green flag is clicked go to variables set um score by set score to zero i'm sorry and then forever if touching heart go to sensing touching heart you have to click like like this and release then um change score by one wait one second let's try it you can see it's working So you can see this score is increasing when you touch the hearts. See? So like that. We have a lot to do. Then um, create clouds. Uh, clouds. Let's search for clouds. Clouds. Um, you can say clouds. Next, move the scenery. When green flag is clicked, forever. Set X to 250. 50 repeat 100 times. Change X 
x by minus 5 change x by minus 5 try it so it's working let's move on So let's click the cat flying. Um, go to clouds. So go to clouds. And then again when green flag is clicked forever set x to 250 next costume repeat hundred times change x by minus five so you can see it So hope you understood how to do. You can see more things when you click see more. So I don't want to. I hope you got an idea. So that's it for today. If you didn't understand, please rewatch this video again and again. Then you will understand. You can go to tutorials. While I would have to say how to um, save a project, go to File, Save to your computer, and then you can select a place you have to create, and then click Save. So if you want to change the languages, you can see the button here. Click the drop down list, and you can see many languages at least there are 40 languages here Dutch anything so I'm in English also how to open a file you can go to file and load from your computer that means open and same as that you can um, take a new file like clicking new like that so it will load like this Hope you understood this video. So thank you for watching. Subscribe us. We'll meet you in the next video. Thank you for watching.